a lot of things happen today in Nigeria. In a same country, by now, the president is supposed to address the nation. But no, we have not heard anything since morning. There has been chaos all over the country. And I want to use the opportunity to commend Lagosians because many parts of Lagos were peaceful, except uh, Ojota, where there was a little commotion between protesters and the uh, security agency over Ganifa Yome Park. Apart from that area, Lagos was peaceful. But other parts of the country, like Kanu and Kaduna, there has been chaos in many parts of the north. You know, anything not join, it will be very, very serious. In the same country, the president would have organized a nationwide broadcast by now. Instead of him to come out and say, please, I have listened to you, I have seen your demands. Give me from now to so -so time, maybe from now to December or November, I will try to meet your demands. You will see the whole place will be calm for some time. You will see the tension will go down a little bit. But no, instead of you to address the nation, you are sending security agencies to disrupt protest. All over Nigeria, you are sending men to go and blow tear gas. Nigerians are not that calm. When they are tired, when they are tired of you, they will show it. Today was a very different day. Today was massive. Like all over Nigeria, everybody is just complaining. People came out for different reasons. Even the girls came out. In Kano, it got to a point that people were looting. People were stealing generator, bed, chair, and everything. You think these people want to keep it? Like for example, this guy that stole generator, do you think he want to use it? He want to sell it because he's hungry. All these chairs they stole, you think they want to sit on it? They want to sell it because they are hungry. The peaceful protests we were advocating for since, it actually went south. Even in Abuja, dear, the president saw all that is going on. Come aside and say something. 